Hi friends, today we will discuss about batch picking and wave picking in Odoo 15 inventory module. So this wave picking is a new feature added in Odoo 15. So let's check how this works. First, you open inventory module and when you go to configuration settings, you have the option to enable these features. So here we have our batch transfer. So this allows to handle a batch of orders. That means you can regroup several transfers into the same batch transfer and then process them together. So batch picking facility of Odoo can be used for managing delivery orders, receipts and internal transfers. So when you enable batch transfer along with this, you can also find a new feature wave transfer. So this wave transfer used to group move operations in a wave transfer to process them together. That is, you can merge multiple operations like bulk of receipts or delivery orders, etc. And to combine them in one single form and operate those transfers at once. So users can add such bulk transfers in an existing wave transfer record or create new record. So batch picking works for small companies and wave picking is appropriate in companies with large number of stock keeping units. So the picking cart in the case of wave picking uh, can typically hold items than with batch picking. So let's enable this one also and save the settings. So let's go to our inventory overview. So we can start with batch transfer working of batch transfer. So here we can find all our operations. So let's open our delivery orders. We have 15 orders to process. So let's see how we can create a batch transfer from the transfers list view. So let me choose some transfers here. And after choosing the transfers, here we have action. So when you come under action, you can view option to add these transfers to batch. So when you click on add to batch, you can add them to an existing batch transfer or you can create a new batch transfer. So if you're choosing existing, then here we can start, uh, like here we can provide the batch transfer name and you can confirm it. So let me create a new one and you can set responsible person for this batch transfer and again click on confirm so you can see automatically a batch transfer is created and which is assigned to these transfers so now let us come under operations here we can find our batch transfers so you can view the newly created batch transfer and when you click on this you can see here we have the transfers added so now we can confirm this batch transfer. So you can see that batch transfer in draft state is moved to in progress. And here we can also check the availability of products in transfers. So we can edit the batch transfer and update the quantity done for each product. And here we can find operations and detail operations. So here we can view the uh, products available. That is total demand, total quantities reserved and done. So you can see you have processed less products than the initial demand. So uh, if you have, if you don't have enough products, you can create a back order to satisfy the need. Or if you don't want, uh, you can click on no back order so that it will not process the remaining products. So you can see the batch transfer is validated. So the different transfers contained in the batch transfers. And here we have another batch transfer which is in progress. 
So here we can also validate this transfer. And then if you want to cancel this batch transfer, you can just click on this cancel. So you can see all those transfers added in the batch are removed and this transfer is canceled. And you can also create a new transfer manually from here by adding the responsible person. And here we can choose operation type. So if you want to process uh, receipts together, then you have to choose operation type as receipts. Then here we can click on add a line. So here we can find all the receipts in draft ready state. So here we can click on, click on choose the transfers. Here we have one draft transfer. And you can also remove transfers by clicking on this close. Now we can confirm the transfer and validate. So that's how we create batch transfer. Now, let us see how we can add transfers to wave. So here, let me open receipts that need to be processed. And after choosing the transfer, here just come under action. Here we have option to add this to wave transfer. So you can use an existing wave transfer or you can create a new wave transfer. Then after adding responsible person, we can confirm this. So here we can choose operations, add operations. And here we can click on this add to wave. Now here, when you check the wave transfer, you can see a new wave transfer is created. And you can find a responsible person and you can view the operation type and the state of this wave transfer. So when you open this, you can find all the transfers and the operations added to this wave transfer. So if you want to set quantities, you can click on set quantities and update the quantity or you can click on validate to validate the transfer. So you can see for table management box, we have to set lots of serial number. After that, we can validate this. So in case all products cannot be picked, you can create back orders for each transfer, which couldn't be completely processed. So the wave transfer is validated. Same way, we can add delivery orders to wave transfer. So the main goal of wave transfer is to group operations from different transfers together in order to increase their efficiency. So in this case, you can see I have grouped four operations. Now we can validate this. So batch transfers and wave transfers are also useful to assign jobs to persons and help the timing management of operations.